Exoma's number one rated newscast, broadcasting live from 12 studios. This is News 12 at noon. Right now at noon, an officer heads to court in the shooting death of a Charlotte man. Donald Trump says he'll leave his business empire and announces more cabinet picks. I'm Marley Hall in New York with the latest on the president-elect coming up. Does the type of exercise you do make a difference when it comes to fighting heart disease? New research says yes. I'm Riley Carlson in London with that story. Good afternoon, Texoma. Thanks for joining us for News 12 at noon. I'm Rita Cote. New this afternoon, a Denison man is dead following a motorcycle crash last night. Denison police say 31-year-old Daniel Parks was headed south on the U.S. 75 service road near Morton Street around 1130 when he hit a curb, lost control of his motorcycle. He wasn't wearing a helmet at the time. Parks was pronounced dead on scene. The ramp was closed for several hours as the scene was investigated. Police say there were no witnesses and they're currently searching for some. No other vehicles were involved. Well, according to a Dallas TV station, one person is in custody after a shooting at a golf course in Collin County. Captain Jim Moody with the Collin County Sheriff's Office said the argument took place at the Hurricane Creek Country Club near the city of Anna around 930 this morning. One person was injured and taken to a hospital in an unknown condition. Joe K. Bryant Elementary on Bryant Farm Road was on lockdown, but that lockdown has since been lifted. Be sure to stay with News 12 for updates on this developing story. A North Carolina prosecutor says a Charlotte police officer acted lawfully when he shot and killed a black man in a case that, that touched off several nights of unrest in the city. The district attorney says Officer Brent Vinson shot and killed Keith Lamont Scott back in September. Police video showed officers shouting for Scott to drop a gun numerous times. Scott's family said he was not armed. However, a nearby store surveillance video shows the outline of what appeared to be a holster gun on Scott's ankle. Oklahoma State Troopers will drive less, and the Oklahoma Highway Patrol's aircraft will be grounded more often under new budget cuts. Starting tomorrow, troopers will have a daily 100-mile restriction on their patrol cars, and OHP aircraft flying hours will be reduced. The agency says the cutbacks will also affect some dispatch operations. Oklahoma's budget woes have forced most state agencies to make cuts. General revenue collections in October were 10 percent lower than expected. The wildfires in Tennessee have killed four people and destroyed hundreds of homes and other buildings. DeMarco Morgan reports from Pigeon Falls, Tennessee, in the heart of the destruction. Parts of Gatlinburg, Tennessee, look like a scorched ghost town with smoldering homes burnt to the ground. We are still having, because of the wind, trees that are falling. They're taking down power lines. That's limiting our access into some of these areas. The flames hollowed out homes and buildings. Many people forced to evacuate sought refuge in shelters like this one run by the Red Cross. Greg Lanham and his family spent the night here after escaping the fire. You're looking out of every window you can. You're watching for a glow in the distance. Uh, you know, there's smoke everywhere. Derry and Daniel Deason moved to Gatlinburg from Mississippi about a month and a half ago. They only had time to grab their 14-month-old son, William, and his diaper bag. We don't know what to do or what we're going to do if we don't have anywhere to go. Officials say more than 400 emergency workers from multiple departments are working on putting out the fire and clearing debris. I've gotten calls from the governor of every surrounding state saying, how can we help? Gatlinburg Mayor Mike Warner is trying to aid his community while dealing with his own devastation. I had an opportunity to, to drive through town and confirm the fact that my house was gone and the, uh, my business of 31 years is gone. A strong storms and heavy rain moved throughout the night, possibly helping firefighters fight what's left. And forecasters are predicting even more rain before the day is over. Still, so many people have yet to make it back to see if their place has survived or not. DeMarco Morgan, CBS News, Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. Residents around the South have begun cleaning up after a night of powerful storms left five people dead and more than a dozen injured. Tennessee authorities say a husband and wife died when a possible tornado struck their home. 
Across the state line in Alabama, three people were killed when another possible tornado smashed into a mobile home. The National Weather Service says possible tornadoes and strong winds downed trees and power lines and damaged homes across Louisiana, Mississippi, and Alabama. Well, now let's get a quick check of the forecast across Texoma. Meteorologist Weva Donito joining us now. And Weva, we're not dealing with anything like that, just really cold today. It is cold out there. I mean, we had a good temperature drop across Texoma because we had a cold front pass through the area, and that was early, early this morning. So the satellite and radar shows everything nice and clear for us, and it's going to stay dry and sunny all through the day today. Now for our wind gusts, it is pretty windy outside. We've got our winds from the northwest up to about 23, 25 mile an hour. We have a gust here and there. So with this windy day. We do have our temperatures so far in the low 50s, so it's a little chilly outside. Just make sure you have a good jacket as you're out and about. Now, highs this afternoon, we are going to inch up just a little bit more. We'll push into the upper 50s, but Rita, as we lead into the morning tomorrow, we're looking to see even colder temperatures than what we had felt this morning. Now, we do have chances of rain as well creeping into the weekend. I'll have those details in just a moment. Thank you, Weva. President-elect Donald Trump tweets about the future of his business empire and announces two more cabinet picks. Here's Marley Hall. Steve Mnuchin is President-elect Donald Trump's pick for Treasury Secretary. He spoke to reporters at Trump Tower this morning. Our number one priority is going to be the economy, get back to 3 to 4 percent growth. We believe that's very sustainable. Mnuchin is a former Goldman Sachs executive who was the finance director for Mr. Trump's presidential campaign. The Trump transition team also announced billionaire Wilbur Ross will be nominated for Commerce Secretary. The president-elect says he will hold a news conference on December 15th to discuss plans to leave his business empire while in office. In a series of tweets this morning, Mr. Trump said, I feel it is visually important as president to in no way have a conflict of interest with my various businesses. It's unclear if the billionaire plans to turn over his business holdings to his children or put them in a blind trust. Transition officials tell CBS News the plan does not include a release of his full tax returns. Mr. Trump had dinner last night with Mitt Romney and future White House Chief of Staff Reince Priebus. Romney, one of Mr. Trump's harshest critics during the campaign, said they had a wonderful evening. These discussions I've had with him have been uh, enlightening and interesting and, uh, and engaging. Sources tell CBS News Mr. Trump's considering Romney, retired General David Petraeus, and Rudy Giuliani for Secretary of State. Marley Hall, CBS News, New York. The president and vice president-elect will travel to Indiana on Thursday to announce a deal with the air conditioning company Carrier to keep nearly 1,000 factory jobs in Mr. Pence's home state. Carrier's parent company planned to close two Indiana facilities and move jobs to Mexico. It's not clear what made the company change its mind, but it grossed $56 billion in global sales just last year and holds a number of government contracts. It's no secret that exercise is good for your heart. Now researchers say the type of exercise can be just as important as how much and how often you do it. Riley Carlson has details from London. When Barbara Karai heads out on her bicycle, she knows she's getting more than just fresh air. Obviously, I know it's good for my heart, and I, I can tell after, after I've stopped cycling, my blood, my blood pressure goes right down. New research published in the British Journal of Sports Medicine reveals cycling might pay off big in the long run. Researchers studied the exercise habits of more than 80,000 adults for over a decade. They found people who took part in certain sports didn't just lower their risk of dying from cardiovascular disease, they lowered their chance of dying from any health problem. Those who cycled routinely cut their health risk by 15 percent. This is really the first time that they've, scientists have been able to look at particular sports and clearly show that certain sports definitely have a proven benefit. When it came to cardiovascular disease, people who played racket sports cut their risk of death by more than half, swimming by 41 percent and aerobics by 36 percent. Experts aren't ready to prescribe a specific sport just yet. They say consistent exercise is key. It's really finding a sport that's good for you and one that you can do sustainably over a long period of time. For Barbara, that means sticking with her bike. I love it. I mean, if you see me cycling, I've got a big grin on my face. Riley Carlson for CBS News, London.
Ferris Show, right here on CBS 12. My name is Sherlock Holmes, an impartial seeker of truth. Obviously, all is not as it appears. Right. I believe there's a way to find our needle without searching a world full of haystacks. You can never just drop anything, can you? Not one of my particular strengths, no. There is a vast gulf between impossible and impossible to imagine. And just think, a moment ago you were calling this case boring. Elementary, weekends at 12.05 a.m. For 20 years, KXII and TMC have partnered to create a stronger and healthier community by bringing you the best medical information in the region. As your reliable and trusted source, TMC's experts weigh in on health issues that matter to you each and every week. KXII and TMC bring you TMC Medical Minutes every Monday through Thursday during News 12 at 5 on CBS 12. When severe weather hits Texoma, you need live coverage to keep you and your family safe. Your cable service can keep you in the dark. Take a look at this. Your satellite provider can lose signal. Is the tornado. Your antenna could blow over and disconnect you from the information you need to stay safe. Stay out of the dark and follow KXII TV's weather authority on our live stream online or with the KXII app. Stay safe with KXII TV's weather authority on the live stream for severe weather coverage when you're caught in the storm. Picked up in November, the private sector added 216,000 jobs. That is a lot more than expected, according to payroll processor ADP. We'll learn a lot more about the job market on Friday when the government releases its monthly report. Donald Trump's election has not been good for Tiffany. Sales at its flagship store on Fifth Avenue in New York City are down. It's next to Trump Tower, home of the president elect. There have been protests outside the building, and streets and sidewalks have been blocked off by extra security, making it hard for shoppers. To get into the store. The electric car startup Lucid Motors is building a plant in Arizona. It will make Lucid's first car. It's an electric luxury sedan. Lucid says it will give priority to hiring veterans to build the cars. And have a complaint about your car? Well, the government wants to hear about it. U.S. auto regulators are proposing a rule that would require automakers put labels on sun visors in all new vehicles with instructions on how to file safety complaints. The agency uses those complaints to figure out safety. The issues and possibly issue a recall. And that is your CBS Money Watch report. For more, follow me on Twitter at Jill Wagner CBS. At the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Jill Wagner. Let's check in again with Weva Danito. Weva, as people are heading out to lunch today, will they need a jacket? I think they'll need it because it's a bit windy outside as well, so that's adding a small wind chill for us. Now, we've got some cooler temperatures ahead of us and also possibly some rain over the weekend. I'll have the forecast in just a minute. Are you looking for a real gun shop? Make the short drive to Gun Runners in Ada. And don't miss our indoor climate controlled gun range. Large selection of reloading supplies and gun parts in stock. Made in Oklahoma holsters by Don Hume, as well as holsters by Blackhawk and Uncle Mike's. We have a large variety of ammo calibers, including 22. Sign up now for our concealed carry classes and don't miss our selection of Wise Company emergency foods. Gun Runners in Ada, a real gun shop. The 2015s from G3 are here, and to introduce you to the great new lineup of the exciting all-new 15s, Blackbeard Marine makes the payment so easy there's no reason to wait. Catch the all-new G3 Sportsman 17, powered with Yamaha dependability with a monthly payment as low as $169. Or step up to the Angler V172, its awesome performance is yours for as low as $195 a month. Check out all the exciting details right now at blackbeardmarine.net. G3, Yamaha, and Blackbeard Marine, boating your way every day. Blackbeard Marine, Willis, Oklahoma. Stillwater Milling in Davis is your choice for western wear and accessories. Boots by Ariat, Red Wing, Justin, Anderson Bean, and Cinch, as well as Corel Fashion Boots for ladies. Clothing include Wranglers, Cinch, Woolrich, Miss Me, Big Star Fashion Jeans, and Rock and Roll Jeans. And be sure to check out our great selection of Brighton jewelry, handbags, and accessories. Stillwater Milling Company, more than just a feed store. At Gold Star Carpet One Floor and Home, 
we make choosing and installing new floors easy and hassle-free. Hard surfaces are the perfect flooring solution for a busy lifestyle. Classic hardwood and durable vinyl plank flooring can withstand the wear and tear of the whole family. Cleanup will be a cinch with water-resistant flooring. Beautiful ceramic tile will freshen up any room. Installation is fast, and if you don't love it, we'll replace it with our beautiful guarantee. Lifetime installation warranty. Only at Gold Star Carpet One in Denison. When news happens, call the News 12 hotline and give us a tip. You're watching News 12 at noon with Rita Cote. And from the Weather Authority, here's Weba Donito. Well, we still haven't seen much of a change with Lake Texoma. The elevation still around 618.81 feet. And we still have the temperature of the water around 67 degrees. We'll see generation ran today from 5 o'clock till 7 o'clock later on this evening. Now, through this afternoon, it's been so sunny outside. It looks beautiful out there. This is a perfect November kind of day. With our Sherman Tower Cam, this is brought to you by Glen Polk Autoplex and Supercenter in Gainesville. It's about 53 degrees now. Well, as you're out and about with the windy conditions, it might feel a little bit cooler. But with the wind chill factor, it's actually not too much of an issue. But just make sure you have a decent jacket. Eight is currently at 52 degrees. It's 54 in Ardmore. Durant holding on to 54 as well. For the rest of Texoma, I mean, we're just holding on to the lower 50s. Really not that much of a spread. We have the highest of Nakona, 55. And then all the way through Antlers, Hugo, Paris, still 54 degrees. Within the last 24 hours, we've had some intense changes with our temperatures, at least with a drop. We had a cold front pass through late last night into early this morning. And that brought in some nice cold air with it. So early this morning when we first woke up, walked out the door, we had an almost 20 degree difference for a good chunk of Oklahoma and even into portions of North Texas. Well, now that's distributed a little bit more to where we're not seeing a huge temperature difference for Duncan and Paul's Valley, but now most of us are averaging around 10 to 15 degrees there. That's cooler this afternoon versus 24 hours ago. So this cold front really helped put back our temperatures into check, really, you could say, because we're really not looking to warm up too much more as we go through this afternoon. Now, our winds are kind of annoying. I know we've been having to still deal with our gusting conditions, 25 miles an hour these last couple of days. Well, the winds just have basically now changed direction. They're from the northwest, and this is, again, all the cause from the cold front there. So a few of us are still experiencing those gusts around 20 to 23 miles an hour. Looking at the satellite and radar, it's been pretty quiet for us all day today. We had some higher-level clouds that have been just lingering out and about. Well, those have continued to drive to the south and east. Well, as we now have high pressure and drier air into the area, we've got to see this high pressure still hang around for one more day until we get to Friday because this is when we'll see some of the moisture start to work its way back in and also our next cold front gets a little bit closer. So Friday we'll see a few intermittent clouds here and there start to work their way back into Texoma. By Saturday we're going to bring in a good chance of showers and thunderstorms. I know the timing is really poor. It's Saturday. A lot of us will either have plans or want to travel, anything like that. Well, with this front starting to move on through, this will bring down chilly temperatures and also it'll be wet for the majority of the day there. So just make sure you plan ahead and accordingly with this next cold front because it's going to bring in some much needed rain for us. Now highs this afternoon will be around the upper 50s with those gusting winds around 25 miles an hour. We should see them taper back as we go into the evening so we won't have to deal with this all through the day here. It's just this afternoon really that's when we see the peak time hours with the gusting conditions. Now for tomorrow morning, if you thought this morning was cold, we'll still have the cold temperatures for tomorrow. We'll sit around the lower 30s, and there'll be a good chunk of Texoma as well with freezing temperatures. So if you've been putting off with the plants that have been outside that are sensitive that need to be brought indoors, this is the time to do it because we did have a freeze before, and some areas have already had freezing temperatures like this morning, but... We'll see more of Texoma in uniform tomorrow with those conditions. And it'll still be sunny and dry tomorrow, lower 60s as we go into Friday. Not really seeing too much of a change except for the clouds starting to work their way in. So Saturday and in the morning, we'll have about a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms. We'll start to see the rain work its way in pretty much after midnight going into Saturday morning. Through the afternoon Saturday, we'll be around a 70% chance showers and thunderstorms. Highs around the upper 40s. We'll see the rain pull back as we go into Sunday so far just a slight chance for a pop-up shower storm and that will continue on into Monday and then temperatures will start to slowly recover as well so we'll keep our fingers crossed at least that we just have decent showers and thunderstorms Saturday but we'll enjoy the sunshine today and tomorrow. The trendiest way to feed your guests doesn't even involve cooking. 
Food blogger Alice Choi from Hip Foodie Mom shows us how to put together a beautiful charcuterie board. Okay. A lot of people are intimidated by these, but literally you just pick everything up from the store and it's all about just arranging it on your board. Okay. You do want to stick to like different types of meat, different textures. We have cheese here, again like hard cheese, soft cheese. So the key is different textures, shapes, colors, trying to mix yes, it up. Yes, absolutely. Trying to mix it up and then you just kind of arrange it um, around your board in different places so you kind of see pops of color in different places. Yeah, you, but that's it. You, part of it is the arranging and the presentation. Yes, it's an absolutely. art project. It is. And I feel like when you work with um, quality ingredients like good food, like putting it out, like it, it's not hard to make it look pretty. It's beautiful. For more ideas to make mom's life easier, check out momseveryday.com. I'm Pam Tauscher. Get ready for non-stop late night action. Here we go! It's the Late Late Show with James Corden. Wow! The stunts are amazing. You guys will tell me if I look silly, right? The stars are unfiltered. Oh, really? Really? And the comedy is out of control. The Late Late Show with James Corden. A late night thrill ride. Wow! Hasta la vista, baby. Weeknights, only CBS. Big Bang gets banged up. Oh, hey, high five. It, absolutely not. With Cooper Polly and Bernadette. He shaved it all. You're welcome. Puff Stedfer and Rajaman. Cinnamon's here for a sleepover party. And the one, the only. Pasadena's favorite power couple, Shamey. And that is the answer to the question, what is wrong with eating at the Cheesecake Factory? Get banged up. The Big Bang Theory. Six nights a week here on CBS 12. right here on CBS 12. Wouldn't it be nice if someone made mom's life easier? Someone on call when the kids got sick. Someone with the perfect dinner idea. A team of fellow dog walkers, potty trainers, and tantrum tamers. Someone who listens, who understands, who lends a hand. Wouldn't it be nice if moms didn't have to do it all on their own? At Moms Every Day, we're making mom's life easier. Welcome back to Excel. Well, one thing that'll help you get through the holidays is making sure your priorities are straight. <laughs> Jerry Cunningham joining us now for our Wednesday Wisdom. How are they you? They may not like what I have to say. Uh-oh. It's okay. It's okay. We can take it. Well, I was with my five-year-old great-nephew, Thursday, saying goodbye after Thanksgiving. And it uh, came up about... He wanted a $400 car thing for Christmas. And his dad is looking at me saying, Jerry, it costs $400. He isn't going to get it. <laughs> a five-year-old <laughs> wanting a $400 gift. Well, then I'm driving home, and I have KRLD on, and they have some survey they did. The average person in Frisco, Texas, spends $1,700 per person Whoa. for Christmas gifts. My goodness. Yes. Now, what's the problem here? You know, we all have more than we need, most of us. There are plenty of people who don't have enough. Right. But like this little boy wants a $400 gift. And he, I've never seen a child pout, and he pouted. Mm -hmm. He pouted. And it's like, what is wrong with this picture when you can't even remember what you got last Christmas? That's true. So... The priorities of Christmas, Rita, are, we are so far from those. There's one magazine I love to buy every year, and it's called The English Home. And in December, I buy that because the British know how to celebrate Christmas. They do it with tradition. They do it by going to church on Christmas Eve, many times midnight service. Mm -hmm. They do it with lovely meals they prepare crackers which are filled with just little treasures that's all they aren't expensive 
and they don't do all this other stuff. What has happened to where, you know, it should be faith, family, friends, right? You open an American magazine, it's all not there. It's all about going out and buying a bunch of stuff, as many presents under, inviting people over, but never celebrating whose birthday it is. Now, I'm going to do something about it. Okay. Hopefully, you'll do something about it to where we put our priorities straight. I have a really good girlfriend that emailed me about two days ago, and she said, Cherry, we've always given gifts at Christmas, but in lieu of how everything is, let's not. And I said, yes, and let's make that a forever resolution. Hmm. To where if you want to give something to someone, you give it to someone in need rather than someone where you're scurrying around trying to find something unique or someone who doesn't need anything. So that you're really celebrating the real joy of Christmas rather than, I've got to go, I've got to go buy this, I've got to go do that. If I don't spend as much as they did, oh my gosh, what if I re-gifted? What if this? You know, there's so much angst that goes on at this time doesn't need to be there. So, Rita, what are you going to do about it? Well, I'm going to put back Wava and Jesse's gift to get oh, back to the no. store. Oh, no. Now, Wava, is anyone but Wava and Jesse's? <laughs> um, I, I think just, first of all, like you said, realize what's important. And you're right, we don't need as much. I think oh, just scale no. it down. If we just scale it down, you know. I mean, any given Saturday, you can find 50 garage sales. No. Uh -huh. Of stuff that people have <laughs> accumulated over time that they've and, accumulated yeah. yes and 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 why what is the reason for this season mm -hmm. what is the real meaning wow getting back to that some really good advice i think so well thank you so much for coming in we appreciate it and next month will be new year's resolutions Ooh, okay <laughs> like <laughs> buying you. less <laughs> oh that's a good one <laughs> be sure to stay tuned we'll be right back <laughs> Are you looking for a real gun shop? Make the short drive to Gun Runners in Ada. And don't miss our indoor climate controlled gun range, large selection of reloading supplies and gun parts in stock. Made in Oklahoma holsters by Don Hume, as well as holsters by Blackhawk and Uncle Mike's. We have a large variety of ammo calibers, including 22. Sign up now for our concealed carry classes and don't miss our selection of Wise Company emergency foods. Gun Runners in Ada, a real gun shop. The 2015s from G3 are here, and to introduce you to the great new lineup of the exciting all-new 15s, Blackbeard Marine makes the payment so easy there's no reason to wait. Catch the all-new G3 Sportsman 17, powered with Yamaha dependability with a monthly payment as low as $169. Or step up to the Angler V172, its awesome performance is yours for as low as $195 a month. Check out all the exciting details right now at blackbeardmarine.net. G3, Yamaha, and Blackbeard Marine, voting your way every day. Blackbeard Marine, Willis, Oklahoma. Stillwater Milling and Davis is your choice for western wear and accessories. Boots by Ariat, Red Wing, Justin, Anderson Bean, and Cinch, as well as Corel Fashion Boots for ladies. Clothing include Wranglers, Cinch, Woolrich, Miss Me, Big Star Fashion Jeans, and Rock and Roll Jeans. And be sure to check out our great selection of Brighton jewelry, handbags, and accessories. Stillwater Milling Company, more than just a feed store. At Gold Star Carpet One Floor and Home, we make choosing and installing new floors easy and hassle-free. Hard surfaces are the perfect flooring solution for a busy lifestyle. Classic hardwood and durable vinyl plank flooring can withstand the wear and tear of the whole family. Cleanup will be a cinch with water-resistant flooring. Beautiful ceramic tile will freshen up any room. Installation is fast, and if you don't love it, we'll replace it with our beautiful guarantee. Lifetime installation warranty. Only at Gold Star Carpet One in Denison. Well, temperatures this afternoon will creep into the upper 50s. It's windy out there as well, so a chilly day today, but this is perfect November weather, Rita. Now, we'll have temperatures stay fairly, you know, similar through the next couple of days, but those showers and thunderstorms really work in Saturday, and that's going to be a cold one, upper 40s. All right. Thanks, Wava. Thanks for joining us. Hope you have a wonderful Wednesday.